Getting user inputs is the core functionality every app requires, such as getting email address or username or password and etc. This is only one part of the story. Now, manipulating the data received to fulfill a certain action such as logging a user or performing other related action, then we have to display the results to the user if or not the action was successfully. So therefore, as an Android developer, getting user input is important. In this tutorial, we are going to create a BMI calculator that gets data from the user, performs calculation and display results. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, now we are inside here the main activity. So what we are going to do here, we are going to build our application and then we have to delete everything here because we are not going to need them. So when we want anything else, we are going to write it from the ground. What we are going to leave here is just this BMI calculator theme and this surface here, which is going to define our background color and also modifying here our UI behavior. Now for this case here, now we can create our new composable. Now to create a new composable, you can just come outside here the class. So composables can lie even outside these two calibrases here. If you see inside this class here. So for this case, because composable can be easily accessed even outside of the of the main class which we are going to use it so for example if we have another screen there where we want to access the composable we can easily access it now for this case here now we can create our new composable and there is a, a simple shortcut here by writing comp here and this basically is going to create our new composable and for that case here we are going to call this main main screen so you can call whatever you want and basically here is where we are going to put all of our screens or all of our UI element inside here. Now for what we want here, we want to capture the user input. In order to do that, we have to use a text field and there are several types of text field, which is th just the normal text field and the outline text field. So for our case here, we're just going to use a normal text field. So we can just create here a little bit of room and we are just going to call here a text. And this one is just a composable function, which is a built-in composable function, which like the one we which we have created up here our main screen so here we can pass in here a text field and as you can see here this text field here wants to take up several values now here what we have to do we have to pass in the value and the on value change and basically jetpack compose rise with something which is called recomposition so recomposition meaning that any when any value changes inside this composable it's going to recompose or recall that main screen for example here the main screen so a user types in for example a then here the main screen is going to be called again to recompose so that it can display the results and it does this efficiently so i'm going to show you here what we have to do also so if we have a variable which is not kept in a set way or it's not remembered it's going to be lost so there is a way which we can keep a variable remembered even if there is a, a recomposition and in order to do that now for our case here we are going to create a var keyword and here we are going to call here for example hate because we are going to get to calculate the BMI cal to calculate the BMI we have to use the hate and weight and here basically we can call this we can use here a delegate method by and we can call remember so this remember here is going to keep up the value which we is going to be generated so we can call here a mutable so basically here what we are going to get we are going to get a string and we want to store this so we are getting here error so we can just do this import and get because we are using here a delegate method and then also we can import again so if you come here and press Ctrl Q, you can see this one is going to remember the value produced by the calculation. So which will only be evaluated during the composition. So recomposition will always return the value produced by the composition. So if this value is going to be stored, so meaning that if recomposition occurs, this value is going to remain here if this value has not been changed. So we can do this, we can change this value manually so that it can get be it can get recomposed. So here basically we are going to pass in hate which is just a string and this one is just a lambda function which receives the user input as the parameter of the lambda function so as you can see here this one is going to take up a string and then it's returning a unit so it has a parameter of a, a, a string here so what we can do here now we can just open up these calibrases here and because we are receiving here a string now we have to reinitialize our height and here our height now we can reinitialize to it here 
and this is just the value which is arising from the from the user now what we can do here now we can pass in a label so that when a user is going to be given a hint so we can pass in here label and this also is just a lambda function so this lambda function here accepts composable and as you can see here now we can pass any composable function and these are built in composables so we can pass in here a text and here basically what we can do here now we can tell this is going to be height so height in terms of meters so here we have our first text so as you have seen here we have our own value change and our value which are going to be changing when the user types inside here so what we have here we have here our state which is going to be stored inside the composition so if recomposition occurs this state is going to survive those composition and then it can be reused and what we can do now here we want to display two or more text field so there is something which is called a layout so this layout help us to position the children or the ui element in a certain way so we have a column we have a row a box so we are going to talk more about this in later videos but for now here we are going to use a column in order to display things in a vertical format so a column help us to display things in a vertically sequenced format so what we can do here now we can just press ctrl x here here to copy this and we can call here a column which is just a composable function here and what we can do here now we can pass in here our text field and basically here now we have finished to create our first text field and what we can do here we can create our second text field we can just press ctrl d to duplicate this line of code here and now we have two text field but these two text field they are going to use the same state here so because here it is height and here it is height so in order to differentiate these two text field we have to create another state here and we can just press ctrl d here to duplicate this and instead of height here now we can keep it to weight now what we can do here now we can change here instead of height now here we can pass in weight and here we can pass in weight now basically here now we have all of our state inside here our text and here our label now also we can change here our label to be a weight okay now here what we have to do we want to provide so let's let's come here and preview our code which we have written here now we can write here a preview function so there is a shortcut here just when you write prev you can see this one here and when you press tab here it's going to bring up this preview composable be my calculator theme and then what we can do here now we can call here our main our main screen in order to preview it now when you want to preview something inside jetpack compose you can just come here and then it's going to initialize here and render the output and also it can tell you the preview is out of date just press this refresh and build okay so we are getting here our screen but it is giving us a dark screen here so what we can try here we can come here to preview and here we can call the show background now let's try again here as you can see now let's come here to design and here we have our two text field so we have our height and we have our weight here and as you can see these are just coming until the edge of the screen here so what we can do here we have to pass in a modifier that is going to modify the ui behavior of this so a modifier is something which is going to decorate or it's going to provide a ui behavior so like clickability and other things so we can come here to this column here and this column here accepts several parameters and among them is just the modifier so when we write here a modifier we are going to get this parameter here so we can just call this modifier here and as you can see here there are several mod modifiers accessors which we can use them so like we can pa pass in padding we can fill the max size change the opacity height and other things which we are going to see later in these videos now here what we can do here we can pass in a padding so we don't want this text field to fill up the max width here and here we can just import this value and so basically here it's going to be moved from position so as you can see here this one is going to move from here from 16 points and here 16 points and basically here 16 points we can try to add here a button 
so you can come here below this we want to have a button so we want this button to be able to react to clicks so that we can calculate and we can just write here a button and here we have the on click and here we have the row scope so the row scope here is just a, a scope that we can arrange ui component in a horizontal sequenced format so a column here arranged the uh, ui element in a vertically sequenced format and here it is just a horizontal so for example when we have a button we want to show a text as well as an icon so for our case here we are just going to show only a text for the first time here so what we are going to do we are going to pass in here a text composable so when you see this for example row scope here it allows us to call composable functions which are basically the ui elements which we are going to use them inside our our application and this basically is going to calculate. So we are going to hook up the method here, the on click later. Now, for now, let's try to run our application and see the output because we want this button. When you come here, let's try to rebuild this. Okay, now here our button is coming up here and because we have not kept it inside a layout and this is something which is going to occur. So by default, every UI element is going to be positioned on the top left corner here if not defined inside a layout. So we can just copy this button here and press Ctrl X. We can collapse this to get more room and then inside this column scope here, we can just paste this inside here. Now, when we come here to design mode to view everything, as you can see here, these are going to overlap here. So what we can do here, we can just pass another padding here to give this a little loom. So what we can come here, now we can just come here to the code and we can give it a modifier. So every UI element accepts a modifier inside Jetpack Compose. And we can give it a padding of 8 dp. Okay, now also inside this text field here also we can pass in here a modifier and we can pass in a padding so basically here what we are going to do we are going to pass in the padding on the top of this text field and not below here because we have this button here passing in a padding here so we don't want to have a padding of total of 16 dp so that's why we are just passing here a top of 8 dp and up here we don't want to pass any padding which we want okay now after we finish up to pass in here a padding what we can do we can use this main screen and call it inside here our set content so that this can be hooked up inside the activity and create the ui tree now here we can call here our main screen now now let's try here to run our application and see the output okay now here our app is launched and as you can see here we are arranging this inside the column since we have used a column layout now here we can pass in height so for example here somebody could be a total of two meters and also here a weight of for example 100 kilograms and it is responding to user input now what we can do here now we can press here calculate and it's going to calculate here but we have not implemented and hook up the click here on side this button so let's do this now and finish up the application okay now what we want to do we want to display inside here the main screen we want to display a output below here so what we can do here we can create another text and here we can use a text composable function and basically here now we can pass in a text which is going to be shown if this is going to be here now what we can do here we can create another function another state here so we can duplicate this here and instead of wait here we want to show this as a result and also we want to keep this inside the composition so we want to add this text if and only if that text is not going to be empty so what we can do here we can use an if statement and we can check that if this result is not blank so this will not be added inside the ui tree only if this text this results is not going to be is not going to be blank now for that case we must provide a way with this results we can change it and to do this we can create here another function so let's create here a private function 
and this function here is going to receive a height and this one is going to return here a string so basically here now we can calculate so we can create here a variable so we can pass in here the bmi index and then the formula of calculate the bmi index here is taking here the weight and this weight here is going to be divided by the height squared so we can pass in here height times height so it is kg over meter squared and for that case here now we can just return here a string and we can use here a string template by passing here the bmi in and for that case here now we can calculate here our bmi index inside outside here our functions and you can try here to create another function which is going to calculate if this one is going to be obese or underweight but for now we are just going to leave this as simple here now what we can do here now we want to hook up this when we click here we want to change up the text and here basically now we can pass in and we have to reinitialize this by calculate the BMI. And what we have to do here now, we have to pass in the height. Now we can use the height which we have got from the user. And here now we can convert this to double. Because we are receiving it as a string and we can convert it to a double. And here we can pass in a weight. Okay, now here our application is ready to run. And let's try to rerun our application and see the output. Okay, now let's try here our application. Now we can pass in here too. So this person is going to be 2 meters and here has 100 kg. Okay, not 1000. Okay, now let's press here calculate. And as you can see here now we are getting here your BMI index is 25. Now let's change this. For example, this guy loses weight and gets to 90 and as you can see here now this is going to update so guys this was the basic way to get the user input and use it and manipulate it and display the result now i think you have learned a lot from this video so if you find this video helpful please provide a like and don't forget to subscribe so in future videos we are going to expand this application and create and add other functionalities so for now let's say it bye bye see you in the next video